Today, we're going to talk about two diseases of oak and uh, two very important diseases. One is called oak wilt. The other is called a bacterial leaf scotch. I'm sure many of you have already heard about those two diseases. I will go through the general information, symptoms and signs, disease management, and how to make a diagnosis. So what is oak wilt? It is a fungal disease caused by a fungus. It is called a Brazilla phagocerium. And again, I want to address, this is a fungus. It's not a bacteria. It can weaken the white oaks and kill red oak trees within weeks of infection. As you can see, I use two different verbs. One is weaken, the other is kill. So you can tell this different level of severity for those two types of oak. I will talk about that later. So how the oak will spread? It is, it is spread primarily when the self-feeding beetles, which are shown here in this photo, and the beetles will carry the fungal spores from tree to tree. And once it landed on the fresh wound, those spores are going to germinate and then penetrate into the tree and starting the colonization. So that means those insects are very active in the early uh, time of the year, especially early part of the growing season. And that makes this period of time very critical to avoid trimming the tree, right? At the same time, it can also spread by the root grafts, in the, uh, which can connect to nearby oaks. Therefore, if you have one dead tree that is confirmed with oak wilt, the surrounding area, the oak, may be threatened in the long run. And like I mentioned, since it was transmitted by the insects and also by the fresh wounds, it is very critical to control the pruning time. We all love to prune the tree, but you have to think about the time of the year to avoid trimming the tree. I would say middle of March through June, that's a critical time. Please do not prune your oak tree because that's a time of the year that the insect is very active. I, unfortunately, one of my clients just called me last week that he accidentally trimmed his tree last year around this March or April time, and uh, his tree is starting showing symptoms in July, like I show here from July to November, and all of a sudden, in a couple of weeks, all the leaves shedded, and this year he was like, let's see how it goes, and no, no leaves, no new leaves push it out. And all he got is uh, some suckers growing from the base of the tree. I would call that the trees basically uh, died and due to this disease. And now you can see the severity of the disease. And it can kill the oak tree in a very short period of time. And let's talk about the symptoms, son. But before doing that, I would like to give you a brief background about two groups of oak tree. One is red oak tree. Uh, the other is white oak. This is not specific uh, oak species term, but it's a more general subgroup of a uh, genus of the, the oak. So red oak, as you can see from the photo, they're more uh, pointy in the ends. We call that the, the leaf lobs are more uh, bristle. While if you look at the white oak tree, uh, they share the similarity that the lobs are more smooth and the less pointed compared with red oak. There is a big contrast of those two groups of uh, oak is that uh, the oak quilt is going to be deadly for the red oak family, which is shown here, but it will just slowly kill the white oak family, even though the symptom may look similar, but the severity will be in two different levels. So red oak family, including red oak, pin oak. Unfortunately, we have a lot of pin oak in Missouri and also black oak. For white oak family, which I got to... I'm going to put a plus sign, I would say. So it includes white oak, swamp, and bur oak. They're more resilient or resistant against oak wilt. If you want to plant a, a new oak tree, think about a white oak. If you have an uh, oak tree died previously, you want to replace it, think about a white oak. Uh, those are uh, the photos showing the symptom. It started with uh, the leaf blobs showing those scotching and a yellowing. And then the area will become bigger and eventually the leaf gonna drop. I would say we can call that premature dropping because 
they, they basically drop not in the right of time of year. They are not supposed to drop the leaves, but it, somehow they're starting falling off the, the, the tree uh, and in a big scale. So those are some leaves I received from positive oak wheel tree. And uh, here is a photo taken from my clients. And sh he collected all the leaves and took a photo. As you can see, some of the leaves are still green, but then they just uh, have this, those early mature and early falling symptoms. And he also took those two photos. And uh, this is actually those leaves that just fresh leaves. They were dropped from the, the tree. This is relative to a big oak tree. And uh, the, on this photo, you can see apparent staining symptoms showing those branches. If you are starting raking leaves almost every week and the leaves starting shedding in this scale in such early season, or such early time, not uh, towards the later fall, you may need to think about whether it has disease or not. I would like to contrast this disease to another prevalent disease called a bacterial leaf scotch. This is a bacterial disease. And the bacteria can reside in the vascular system of the oak and causing sectional dieback. It will start with similar symptoms like oak wheel, and sometimes also can be confused with the drop stress. However, this disease will not kill the tree as fast as oak wheels. Normally, it would take three to five years to kill the uh, oak tree. And I don't think there's a scientific finding that can show their difference between a uh, red oak and a white oak their resistance to bacterial leaf scotch. So now let's switch to back to the oak wilt. If you have some early dieback or early leaf dropping, you can take some branches from the tree and uh, simply chop off the bark and look inside of the underneath of the bark to see whether you can see those brown and kind of black streaking. That's one of the indication for this disease. Of course, you will need to see the fungus to confirm it. This is the photo showing the fungus underneath the bark, showing the fungal mats. It's definitely a big yes for this disease. Now let's talk about disease management. Unfortunately, it's a sad news that as long as you have the oak wheel, there's no cure. And all you can do, you have to focus on the preventative strategies, controlling the spreading and controlling the infection of this disease. Carefully pruning the tree and taking good care of the tree and avoid pruning the, or damage the oak tree from March to June. You can try some fungicide injection, but it's a little bit pricey. And once you start it, you, you cannot stop. You have to apply every year. You can try to kill the grafted roots with mechanical trenching or chemical uh, application to protect the healthy tree around your disease tree. You need to remove the dead tree as soon as possible because it can serve as the inoculum source. Even the dead oak wheel infected tree can also spread the disease. Uh, please contact local and Missouri Department of Conservation Forest Service if you have any questions or you want some more information about it. And you can also contact our lab, we are uh, MU Plant Diagnostic Clinic located in Columbia, Missouri. We offer the oak wilt and the bacterial leaf scotch tests. Actually, from now on to October, those are the best month to test this disease because the symptom gonna showed up and, and it's not towards the end of the season and it should be very visible if you see something wrong. But I have to be honest with you, this year is the weather uh, is very conducive for many foliar diseases. Some leaf spots or antrachno disease can be easily confused with uh, the, the oak wilt or, or black or bacterial leaf scotch disease. You may need to send me some photos before sending samples so we can, based on our conversation, we can determine whether it is necessary to send a physical sample to us. If you want to send a sample to us for oak wheel tests, uh, we will need a four to six stamps with about uh, five, uh, eight to 10 inches long and about 0.5 to 1.5 inches diameter. Please make sure you, the stem is still alive, not completely dead, and it, it shows vascular discoloration and dieback. Please also send me 10 to 20 leaves showing symptoms. Maybe I can use them for bacterial leaf scotching. Again, uh, if you like, please visit our website, and I would prefer having the photos first 
There's a good news. Missouri Department of Conservation has a grant that I would like to support uh, my lab to offer free services of oak wilt and bacteria leaf scotching tests. Normally, we charge around $30 to $50 for those tests. Now it will be all covered by MDC, thanks to Missouri Department of Conservation. Therefore, if you have any question regarding those two diseases or maybe something else like oak wilt, uh, antrachnose, leaf spots, armillaria, wood rot, uh, all of those diseases can be covered by those services. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your time.